Hi everyone, Adolfo talking here is Fostering Lingua. Yeah, so hello guys. So my name is Adolfo, as you saw in the clip. And if you're coming here the first time, so first of all, welcome. I have a course in English, of course, about the learning of English. This course is directed for adults only and especially for Brazilians. But if you're not a Brazilian, well, welcome to this part of the course, which is actually just about learning more in the language, learning more vocabulary, understanding more in an integrated reading. So what is the topic? What is the goal of having these videos? This is short excerpts of very famous books that we will talk about. And if there are some words that are different, not common, we will try to dissect a little bit of them. So the book that we have here today to talk about is the book uh, Moby Dick. So have you heard about Moby Dick? This is a book about from Melville and this book is about a hunter, whale hunter and a whale and is a book about vengeance. Do you know this word vengeance? It's a word that comes from Latin. It means to be um, to want to hurt or to pay back something to someone normally is seen as a very bad feeling. You should not be vengeful, right? So let's start a little bit of the chapter one called Kalme Ishmael. Let's go on. So of course, if you want to support my channel, hit the like, subscribe, and we can have more talks like this. I probably will gonna put on some videos like this, maybe one or two the week. I think that will probably be my, my, my schedule. I don't know, guys, let's see if you like it or no. Let's start it then. First paragraph, let's go. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, how long, it's not important. I found myself with no money and nothing to interest me on land. Whenever I feel depressed like this, I know it is time to go to the sea. However, I never go as a passenger. I never have the money to pay. Hmm. And why should I pay? I always go to sea as a simple sailor. Sailor. <laughs> to get paid, to get exercise, and to breathe the pure sea air. So yes, what is a sailor? Guys, we have talked about this a little bit before. Normally, you have a word, and then you have this ER. It means uh, a person who does that thing. We can also have a word with OR. Also works sometimes with OR more Latin names. For example, here we have the word sailor. Let me put another one here. Uh, let me think. A operator. Same thing happens here. Is a person who sails or here a person who operates. Sometimes you can also have words with ian. That is normally for technical jobs. For example, electrician. Um, let me see another one here. Physician. So what do you have here? It's words which, which you have um, some kind of technique. Physicians have some technique in medicine. Electricians have electrical techniques, right? So that's how we do it. Continue one. I had never been on a whaling ship before. I normally sail on ships that take spices and treasure from one part of the world to another. Of course, we're talking about what? The 16th, 17th century, Portugal, Spain, and England as well with the pirates. That they go here, back, they go to India, and then there's the Americas, in which Brazil is one of the parts. We live in Brazil, so shout out for everyone who is not from Brazil, who is watching this video. Hello guys, thank you for coming. Anyway, 
But this time I decided that I wanted to sail in the hunt for whales, those great monsters of the deep seas. So one very interesting thing here is to see the word whaling ship. Normally in English, English is very easy to do adjectives. So let's say if I want to say a ship for, I don't know, let's say um, cod. Cod is a type of fish. If I say cod ship, you will have to know. The word that comes before is adjective and the other word is a noun. Every time I have two words like this, one of them is the describer, uh, adjective. And the next one is going to be the noun. Very easy in English, actually, to say those kind of stuff. Whaling, the word whale. If I say a whale ship, it will be a ship that is for whales, is about whales, it has the shape of whales. But they said the word whaling ship, which gives the sense of action on the ship. It's a ship that acts upon whales. You know, whales, the animal, right? So that's why here whaling is an adjective as well for the word ship. It's a ship in which you hunt whales. So there is an activity which is whaling or hunting, right? Hunting specifically whales. So I traveled to a town called New Bedford. And on my arrival, I found that I had to wait a night and a day for a ship to take me to Nantucket, I think is that. Proper name, sometimes I can butter it, sorry. <laughs> but yes, Nantucket. At the time, this was the most famous whaling port in the whole world. After walking the streets for some time, I arrived at a place called the Spouter Inn. I decided to go in. So of course we have two different words here. Inn. A lot of people don't know that, but inn is very close to a hotel. You can actually say that it's almost the same, close to hotel, an inn. To ends, right? It's a very old word, German kind of word, not a hotel like Latin word. Okay, next page. There were no free beds in the inn, but the owner told me there was a large bed that I could share with a harpooner from a whaling ship. Again, guys, so same thing that is happening with the word er. Harpoon is a, um, a weapon used for hunting. Er, harpooner, a person who does, who works with the harpoon. So, as you can see, easy to say. From a whaling ship. He told me the man was out, walking around the town, trying to sell some human heads. I was not sure I wanted to share a bed, even a larger one, with another man, especially a man trying to sell human heads. Yeah, human heads. However, the only alternative was to sleep on a table in the bar. So I asked the owner to show me the room. When I arrived, it was empty. So I got into the bed and quickly went to sleep. Later on that night, I was woken up by a man entering the room, holding a candle, you know candle for the light, in one hand and a woman hand on the other hand. Oh my God. <laughs> he didn't see me and I was able to watch him in the candle light. Candle lights the light from the candle. He was a huge man with a shaved head, shaved. I have a full head <laughs> with a lot of hair. Shaved, you can shave here your beard and you can shave your head too. Shaved head, it's a bald person. Uh, and the whole of his body was covered in tattoos. He was clearly from the South Sea Islands and I wondered if he was even a cannibal. At that moment, I was as scared of him as I am scared of the devil. Sure. That is for sure scary, bro. <laughs> Let's go on for the next page here. Oops. Here it is. Next page. Let's go on. 
he looked into the bag and he had uh, look into the bag he had and took out a wooden idol wooden it's a very germanic word again when you have a word that has the en normally it can it wants to say origin normally that like a golden from gold wooden from wood it's a wooden idol and an idol here is like a, a figurine a statue right a wooden idol from made of wood in the shape of a small baby for perhaps perhaps is the same word as maybe maybe cool word and perhaps is a fancy word to say the same thing as maybe you could use it to make your vocabulary better more richer right a minute he whispered some prayers whisper whisper that is whisper <laughs> and did some AMSR ASMR I don't know the, the name of that um, well whatever uh, for perhaps a minute he whispered some prayers prayers for this tiny God then he put out his candle and jumped into the bed he was very surprised to see me who are you it's who are you right who are you I'll kill you I kill you shouted a cannibal as he jumped back out of the bed landlord I screamed what is the landlord it's the lord of the land it's like a king of the land the one it was the owner right landlord same thing as the owner landlord is same thing as the owner the proprietarian <laughs> if you want to be Latin yes Thankfully, the landlord came quickly to the room, holding a candle. Don't be afraid of quick quick. He wouldn't harm a hair on your head. The landlord said with a big smile on his face. Why didn't you tell me he was a cannibal? <laughs> My God. I thought you would know. I did tell you he was out selling heads. Quick quick. This man sleep you. You sub... Me sabe a lot, said Quig in a low voice. Yeah, as you can see, here we have the first part of this adventurous, very mysterious story, which is the Moby Dick. You know, it's a whale, and it's a very characteristic of the time it was written. We're talking about sh uh, ships sailing, we're talking about cannibals, it was a huge topic in Europe because of Brazil. Brazil had a lot of stories about cannibals, especially Hans Tannen. It's a book uh, that a guy from, I believe it was France, I think it was France or Germany. He came here in Brazil and he, he got trapped by some cannibals, indigenous cannibals here in Brazil. Came back, spread the word with the book. Everyone was talking about cannibalism. <laughs> so it's a, a tale of the time. Very cool guys, I hope you liked our introductory in, um, video about this new, new old classical story called Mob Dick. And if you liked it, please let me know if you liked the way we did it, if you, if you think it's good, it's bad, and you can give me any comments and we can make it better um, for the next videos that are upcoming on you. And also you can give me some suggestions too of what you read, what you think should be a good reading here as well. Okay, so guys, thank you a lot for coming and we'll see each other in the next day or whatever day it, was, it will be. Thank you a lot. See you. Ship is sailing.